Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bogey King. We're glad you're here. Today we've got a super cool video for you. We're going to be reviewing the Strixon Q-Star Tour Divide Golf Balls. These are brand new, they just came out, so I went and got a set for someone like me who is an average golfer. How do they perform? Do they help my game? Are they easy to see if I tend to lose my ball? So we're gonna play a few holes today. We're gonna see how these balls perform. I'm gonna give you my honest review on these balls. And uh, yeah, hopefully we have some fun. So if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, hit that like. We got new episodes every Saturday at 11 a.m. Our goals here at Bogey King Golf are to inspire, to educate, to do reviews and have fun. So we hope that you stick around and enjoy today's video. And I apologize, it's a little windy, so hopefully the audio is not too crazy, but we're gonna have some fun. It's gonna make it interesting. All right, everyone, stay tuned. All right, so uh, this thing, the, the packaging is nice and bright. Uh, it says here, our most powerful distance ball, ultra soft feel, Q-Star Tour Divide has a penetrating ball flight and an extremely low driver and iron spin, making it long every shot. Super vibrant, two color urethane cover provides maximum green side spin and easy putting alignment. So, you know, here's the, uh, the packaging. Looks pretty good. I actually like the colors. Uh, I know some golfers will make fun of other golfers if their balls are colored, but you know, I'm, I'm accepting of golf balls of all colors. So we're gonna play these balls today. We're gonna see how they perform. I'm here at Lynx at St. Anne's in Middletown, Delaware. Thank you to them for hosting me, having me out and allowing me to film here. And so if you haven't booked the tee time with them, go ahead and do so. But we're gonna start off here on hole number one. It's a par four. Uh, we're about 394 yards away from the flag. So we're gonna tee up and see how they perform. Put these balls out. So they are super bright. I mean, these things are super bright. They're a matte finish, which I like. Although I have to say I've played the Max Fly matte finish balls and they don't seem to fly as straight for me. That could just be me. Um, we're gonna see how these are. Uh, they feel really nice. I think they look cool, like I said earlier. So I'm gonna give it a shot. flight pretty easy to see too let's go find the ball so here we are in the sand trap about 184 yards away. <sighs> Let's see, I'm going to hit my six, I believe, because I want to get a little more oomph out of the sand. I got all that one. So I would say the ball has a pretty good visibility on the grass, um, but we're gonna see now how it chips up on the green. I'm gonna use my 60 degree from here. Hopefully 
have a pretty good chance of being on there and putting for par. I'm really working on my game and the uh, Club Pro has been helping me. And one of the suggestions was a little looser grip on the wedge. And that really does help quite a bit. That was a great, great chip. Pretty straight shot. I do have the wind going across. Not bad, a little too much. Didn't cut at all. There we go. They don't call me Bogey King for nothing. All right, so here we are. We're on hole number three here at Links at St. Anne's. There's a par four. Uh, one of my favorite holes here. It's got a great view of the water. Pretty wide up the fairway. A little forgiveness on both sides, so hopefully it's not too bad. All right, we're gonna hit here on three. This ball is a little expensive, $33 for a box of 12. But it's pretty good promises. So I got under that, but it is flying super straight. And got some distance still. All right, so I'm about 154 yards away. That was a 241 yard drive. I didn't hit the ball great, and it still had great carry. Now there's a little bit of a wind, but it's actually a left to right. So if anything, I feel like that would have pushed me off to the side. So, you know, that's not terrible. So I hit that pretty poorly, but man, this ball, it bounces and rolls. It's almost like a bouncy ball. Now, I know I didn't lose it, but it definitely popped up here and rolled up and over. Oh, here we go. So, that's actually not the worst shot in the world.
before we wrap up today's video, I did want to show you the inside of the ball. I have cut it in half, and so it is a three-piece ball. You have the inner core, you have the outer layer, and then there's a urethane layer on top that makes up the colors. And so overall, um, similar to other ball construction, you know, uh, good weight and good feel. It has a 338 dimple speed pattern on here. Um, overall, if you could glue it back together, that'd be kind of cool. Looks like the uh, crash dummies from back in the day. All right, everyone. Well, that does it for today's video. Today we reviewed the Shrixen uh, Q-Star Tour golf ball, the Divide, the two-color ball. Uh, I have to say I like the ball. Um, I probably will not put this in my bag for a few reasons, but let me give you the pros. This ball is like a rocket ship off the club face. If you hit it well and you make good contact, this ball will go far. I hit three drives in a row, all at about 250 yards. My average drive is anywhere from 230 to 235, so uh, good club face strike, good distance. Off of my irons, same thing. Um, this ball will run, it'll roll. Now, it is a little dry out here today, so the conditions are fast, but um, you'll see a couple, I think you saw a couple of the shots were, you know, uh, low low runners, or, you know, they were more uh, scorched, you know, kind of off the bottom of the club face. The ball still went really far. So um, I can say that, you know, in terms of distance, that it's gonna give you the distance you're looking for. And, you know, you can definitely tell by the colors and the movement, it's not really spinning a whole lot so definitely gives you more distance around the greens with the wedges um, you know it, it seems like it performs pretty good the matte finish definitely grabs on to the club face a little more you can see based on some of the drone shots i got chipping around the green definitely get good spin um, and then it tends to bite when it hits the green and then uh, i did the test that i'm you know i was inspired by rick shields and i did the, the sand test and so i hit a handful of shots out of the sand trap this is the ball that i hit out of the sand trap and as you can see, it is actually, I mean, it's in good shape. Like I hit, I think around 10 shots out of there. I used my 60 degree and uh, I was not kind and the ball still looks and feels great. So, um, you know, if you're not gonna lose the ball and play with it multiple uh, times, I think you can get through, you know, a number of holes with the ball still in decent shape. All that said, uh, here's the reasons why I'm not gonna put it in my bag. One is the cost. This ball is, as I mentioned, $33 for a dozen. And so it definitely puts it up there on the higher end of golf balls. Um, it is not as forgiving for someone like me. So I'm a higher handicap player. You know, I'm still learning. Uh, my club strikes are not always as consistent as I would like. And so I need a more forgiving ball. And this, uh, while it does promise forgiveness, um, you know, there were a few different strikes where uh, I did not get the, you know, the, really the, the kind of aim and accuracy I was looking for. Uh, the other thing that I would say is uh, around the putting green, um, you know, the brightness is a little distracting, uh, but it does make it easy to find. I think on a few different occasions, and you'll, you've seen it in the video so far, uh, the ball is, you know, easy to find in low grass, but overall, um, it's very, very visible, and that, that really is a nice benefit, you know, if you're someone like me who tends to lose a few balls around. So again, uh, on a Bogey King scale from one to five, I'm gonna give this a three. I think it is a good product. Uh, if you're somebody who is a lower handicap and is looking for something that maybe you're playing in a course like a link stock course where the roughs are high and it's not easy to find your ball, then maybe this is what you're looking for. Um, you want that distance, you want that running ability. Uh, you know, I mentioned earlier, it is similar in matte finish to the Max Fly matte but it is not as uh, i would say rough it's a little more smooth than that so if you're new here hit that subscribe button hit that like hit the bell to get notified new videos every week and as we say every week you can still have fun even when you're playing plus one all right everyone see you next week